Next up, we got Sarah. Sarah, you're on with Isaiah. It's a great meeting you, Isaiah Thomas. Um, as a person <laughs> who is um, living in Massachusetts, it's just cool to actually um, see a person who used to play for the Boston Celtics. So I'm proud yeah. of that. It's, ni it's nice to meet you, too. Um, so my question was, um, how did playing with the Boston Celtics feel like? Um, it was, you know, it was, it was really cool. Like it was really cool in a sense of, as you know, Massachusetts, Boston, it's a sports town. It's a sports city. Um, before, you know, my first three years in the league, I was on the Sacramento Kings. Then my fourth year I signed with the Phoenix Suns. Then I ended up getting traded to Boston before that, other than, you know, Larry Bird and those teams and, Kevin Garnett and and Ray Allen and the team that won the championship in 08. Obviously, I, I know my basketball history. I know about Boston. But when I played in Boston, I was going to the hotel, to the arena, and back. That's it, right? When I played in Boston, like when I played for the Celtics, the energy there, the fans, best fans in the world, hands down, like when it comes to sports. The things that I was doing when I was able to accomplish, you know, the, the goals that I set out and I'm able to go to the playoffs, go to the Eastern Conference Finals, be an all-star, all those things, being with the Celtics, you know, it was things you dream of, like being at the free throw line and the whole arena's yelling MVP when you're shooting free throws. As a Boston Celtic, like that doesn't, you don't, especially where I'm from, you don't. Like, you don't even dream about things like that. Like, it, it seemed like the whole time was like a dream that, you know, you don't want to wake up from just because everything just happened so genuine. Everything happened. Like, I got traded, and then they loved me. The fans in the city loved me for playing the way I played. And it's hard to describe Boston when you haven't, you know, played for the Celtics. It's like a different energy. It's different expectations. You know, those, those were one of the, you know, funnest times of my life especially in my NBA career those those were those were some good times you know those three years that I played there definitely hear it in, in your voice and then your fans oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. questions yeah. yeah for sure all right for sure. thank you for your question Sarah